Hey guys, it's K7. Today I'm going to be showing you how to transfer a 3DS game save file to be playable on the Citra emulator and continue where you left off from your 3DS save file. Now the only thing you're going to be needing is a 3DS with custom firmware. This only works with custom firmware 3DSs. You need JK Save Manager and of course the Citra emulator. You can find the links for JK Save Manager and the Citra emulator down in the description. The links are down below. Once you download those files, you will need to extract the JK Save Manager. It doesn't matter where you extract it, just extract it and then place it into the root of your SD card of your 3DS. Create a folder on the root of your SD card and name it something like CIA or CIAs. Once you've created the folder, place the CIA that you just extracted within the contents of that folder. By the way, a lot of people get confused when people say root of SD card. The root of the SD card is just the space within the SD card. So keep that in mind when people say root from now on. Okay, once you place the CIA within the contents of the folder, this part is done. You can now remove your SD card from the computer and place it back within your 3DS. Once you've reinserted your SD card within your 3DS, you will need another tool for CFW on 3DS, that's custom firmware. You will need a tool called FBI. If you don't already have FBI, you can find FBI down in the links in the description. You can download it there and install it. But if you already have it, then you're all set. You can just go here and then if you haven't installed it, just follow these steps after you install it. Okay. Open up your FBI client on your 3DS and then you're going to scroll down to titles and then you're going to look at the title ID number and you're going to look at the last eight numbers here as shown on the screen. These numbers indicate the title that you are trying to locate. So keep these in mind when searching for a title because this will always tell you the title that you are looking for so that you can match when you're looking for a specific save. Once you've copied the last eight numbers down, you want to then install JK Save Manager. You want to hit B until you're back at the main page of FBI. Then you want to go to SD. You want to go to the folder that you just created called CIAs or CIA, whatever you may have named them. Go to that folder, open it, click on the CIA and install it. This will install JK Save Manager. Ungift wrap the new tool and start it up. The first time starting up, it'll take a little bit of time. Just be patient and it'll open. After this, it won't take as long anymore. The first time, it just needs to load some files in. But every other time after that, it'll be a smooth and quick opening of the program. So when you open it, you're gonna get a window like this. So if you're exporting or importing a game from a cartridge, you want to select cartridge. If you're importing or exporting a game from a CIA or installed game on your 3DS, then you want to select SD CIAs. From there, we want to locate the game that we want to export the save from. In this case, we're going to be exporting the save from Pokemon Moon. So select that and hit the A button or whatever game that you chose 
to export from. Select it and hit the A button. Next, hit Save Data Options, then hit A on Export Saves. Select New and then name it whatever you'd like and hit the A button. Then hit OK. Once it's done, you're finished here. You can close the application and also you will need to remove your SD card from your 3DS once again and reinsert it into your computer. Once you're back on the root of your SD card, locate the JKSV folder, saves, the name of the title, the name of whatever you may have named your save, then you will find your save here. Copy your save and place it onto the desktop. You can now close your SD cards window. Once you've closed your JK save manager, you then want to open up your Citra emulator directory folder. You can do this by right clicking on the shortcut of your Citra emulator and clicking open file location. From there, go up to the folder titled user, SDMC, then Nintendo 3DS. All zeros, all zeros again, titles, all zeros with the four in the middle. And then here you will find the location of saves for your Citra emulator. Now remember those last eight digits that was required of you to copy down within the containments of the titles in the FBI folder? Well now, this is the point that you will be needing it. You will need those numbers in order to locate your save and identify your save. So wherever you may have copied down those last eight digits, it will be a good time to find them. And then paste it in the search bar up top in the right hand corner of your window and it'll find the folder for you. Or you can just search for it manually. Open it, hit data, open the folder with zeros and a one at the end, and here you will find your save. Go to the desktop and drag the save that you exported from your save manager into this folder. Replace it, and then you can close this window. Start your Citra emulator in the game of which you left off on. As you can see, it works just fine. Now you can continue where you left off from in a game that you were originally playing on your 3DS. Well anyways guys, this was a pretty long video. For those of you who stuck around, I appreciate it. But besides that, if you guys need help, make sure to leave those comments down below. I'll get to them when I can and if I can. Also remember to talk to each other if you need help and I'm sure you guys can help each other out down there in the comments as well. Make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more videos like these. Until next time, this has been K7. Peace. Take care guys. Later. Hey guys, it's me, K7. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and hit the notification bell for more videos like these. Okay guys, I'll see you guys next time. Later.